I feel bad saying this because I know we're all having a rough year, but I'm doing great. <laughs> like been my favorite year. I, uh, I shot my first commercial a couple of months ago, which was, uh, thank you. I love blind support. Thank you so much, one lady. Um, it was good. I'll be honest, though, I felt a little inferior on the shoot. I was the only girl that didn't have eyelash extensions, which if you don't know what that is, it's when they glue little pieces of hair into your eyelashes. It makes it fuller and longer, and it looked really pretty. So that's one of the girls. I was like, ah, oh, how much is that? Thinking it's like $30. She's like, it's $400. I was like, I'll just learn to love myself. <laughs> that's a lot of money. Like, it's a lot of money for something no dudes never not fucked me because of. <laughs> I mean, like, I'll just keep wearing tight jeans and showering. It's actually never been a problem. My other big event this year, I, uh, I went off the birth control pill. I was, uh, I was on it for 12 years, and when you're on something like that for a really long time, you actually have a lot of side effects and symptoms just from going off it. So I went off it, it created a hormonal imbalance, and I now suffer from hormonal acne, which if you don't know what that is, that's when you only break out around your mouth. I call it my goatee of acne. I also call it my new form of birth control. It's been awesome. But I've been dealing with it for a year, and for a year I've tried everything. I really have. I've read all the books, I've read all the blogs. Women come up to me after the show, they tell me to put weird shit on my face. I've done it all, nothing works. And I started to lose a little bit of hope until recently, but like I'm at the age where all my friends are having babies, and I kind of noticed a pattern with all my new mom friends. Because they all said the same thing. They were like, oh, I also had hormonal acne, then I had a baby, naturally balanced out my hormones, and now I don't break out. So I started asking questions like, how long into the pregnancy? <laughs> like before the third trimester? I'm asking for my face. I like you guys. No, I don't think I need your suggestions. Yeah. No, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop being yourself, personally. Yeah, I have most of the punchlines. Um, not all of them, but most of them. I, uh, I do feel fortunate. I've, uh, I, it's been pretty good the last couple of years. I've, uh, I've toured all over the world the last couple of years, and my parents are in their 60s, and they never left the country, so I tried to change that. For Mother's Day last year, I gifted my mom a trip to London the next time I performed there, and she wasn't excited <laughs> at all, but she's like dead inside and doesn't express herself, so just ignored all the signs. So fast forward, a couple months go by, I'm actually already in London, I'm FaceTiming my mom, and I'm just preparing her for the trip. I'm like, I'll meet you at this terminal, make sure you have your passport, I'd bring a coat, it's actually a very miserable country. <laughs> and she just starts hysterically crying. And I was like, why are you crying? She's like, I'm scared and I don't wanna go. And I was like, all right, well I already bought the ticket, so you are, remember that conversation from childhood? <laughs> So why are you scared? And she goes, well, first of all, what if my plane crashes? And I was like, mom, if you die, you die. <laughs> now, I have to tell you, in your 60s, you've had five kids. We're all adults now. We don't really need you anymore. <laughs> yeah, kind of feels like a you problem. <laughs> what else? She was like, ISIS. I was like, ISIS, if they haven't recruited me, they're not gonna recruit you. You've had two knee surgeries. <laughs> Get on the plane, we're gonna look at pale people. It's gonna be dope. <laughs>